The Amstel River is a major river flowing through some of the city's most iconic landmarks, including the Magere Brug, also known as the Skinny Bridge, the Royal Theatre Carré, and the historic Amstel Hotel. The river banks are lined with charming cafes, restaurants and museums, making it a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. In summertime, you will see many boats sailing the river and through the canals of Amsterdam. It's a great way to see the Amsterdam city center from the water. The river also inspired many of the famous painters like Rembrandt. Talking about paintings and art, the Rijksmuseum is one of the most famous and largest museums in the world. The building itself is amazing to see and has a tunnel in the middle underneath for cyclists and pedestrians, where often classical music is played and echoes through the tunnel. The museum underwent a 10-year renovation and reopened in 2013. The museum housed some of the most famous and expensive paintings in the world, including Rembrandt's Nightwatch and Vermeer's The Milkmaid, and other art pieces. The Eye Film Museum in Amsterdam is an impressive building that looks like a spaceship. It's located on the north side of the Eye, in the center of Amsterdam. Here you can watch international films and documentaries, with a wide range of genres and styles. Also there is an exhibition space, a museum shop and a bar restaurant. Take the free ferry leaving from Amsterdam Central Station that departs every 5 minutes. If you love football, stadiums or sport in general, it's nice to visit the Johan Cruijff Arena. It has a capacity of 55,885. It's home of Amsterdam's main football club, Ajax Amsterdam. Visitors can take a guided tour of the stadium, which includes a visit to the locker rooms, players tunnel and pitch side areas. One of the highlights of the tour is a visit to the Ajax Museum, which houses a collection of artifacts and memorabilia related to the club's illustrious history. Here visitors can, can see trophies, jerseys and other items that tell the story of Ajax's success over the years including its legendary player and coach, Johan Cruijff, who the stadium is named after. Next to this, the stadium houses concerts, events and other sporting competitions. Vuurtoren Island, which translates to Lighthouse Island, is a small picturesque island located off the coast of Amsterdam, in the Eimeer Lake. The cool thing, it's only accessible by boat. The main attraction of the island is a restaurant which serves delicious, locally sourced food in a unique setting. The restaurant is housed in a restored fort that dates back to the 1800s. The island also houses a small lighthouse and gives a unique view over the city skyline. Amsterdam Canals and City Center One of my favorite things in Amsterdam is just roam the canals and city center. There is so much to see and do with all the small shops, cafes, museums, restaurants and beautiful canals. The canals of Amsterdam are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's easy to see why. If you want to take a boat tour through the canal, I suggest taking a smaller open electric boat instead of a larger closed tour boat. Some of the best things in life are free. In Amsterdam there are some public transport ferries for pedestrians and cyclists. There are a couple ferry lines departing from the back of Amsterdam Central Station. It's absolutely relaxing and calming sailing the Eye River and sailing towards the other side of the Eye, towards the north side part of Amsterdam. For example, taking the ferry towards the NDSM Wharf. This is about a 10 to 15 minute boat ride and leaves regularly from Central Station. The NDSM Wharf is a former shipyard turned into cultural hotspot in Amsterdam. It has a very industrial character to it. It houses art galleries, studios and exhibition spaces that line the waterfront. The area is also home to a wide range of cultural events and festivals, including music concerts, film screenings and food festivals. A cool example is an old industrial crane that is now turned into a hotel. Brouwerijt Ei is a popular microbrewery of specialty beers. It's located at the Funicade in Amsterdam. 
The brewery is housed in an historic building, a former bathhouse, which has been transformed into a lively and bustling beer hotspot. There is a large terrace under the windmill called the Mole, where you can have a nice local beer. The Westerkerk, a 7th century church in the heart of the city center of Amsterdam, surrounded by canals, is one of the most city's iconic landmarks and a must-visit destination for anyone interested in Dutch architecture and culture. It houses one of the largest organs in the Netherlands and has an impressive interior and exterior. Also, the church played a large role in the life of Anne Frank. The Anne Frank House is a museum located next to the Westerkerk. A young Jewish girl, Anne Frank, who kept a diary while hiding from the Nazis in the Second World War in the back of the house. Anne is believed to have heard the church bells ringing from her hiding place. The museum gives a very powerful emotional experience as you can walk the rooms where the family lived and hid. You can see firsthand the impact of the Holocaust on the lives of ordinary people. 